What's up guys, First Night here and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. And some of you are probably wondering, why am I introducing this video like that? Well, this video is going to serve as my channel ad because we're going to discuss how a few things are changing on the channel and kind of what this channel is all about. So, first and foremost, this channel is about iOS development. I'm currently in iDev Journey Season 2. But first, let's talk about Season 1. Season 1 began when I decided to start learning iOS development. Again, I took a Udemy course, I built a few simple apps, one based on UI, one based on integrating an API, a calculator app where we integrated sound whenever you hit a button, and math, and all this cool stuff, and all of those are on my GitHub repository. And after I was done with that course and I felt comfortable enough to start my own application, Season 2 was born. So Season 2 is me creating my application, a big application that I plan to launch on the App Store. All the other ones, GitHub, this one, App Store. So it's going to be quite a bit different from Season 1 because Season 1 I talked about everything I was development and integrated that into iDev Journey as well as all the learning stuff. Season two is going to be specifically regarding this one application. And it's not gonna be as frequent as I would like. It's gonna slow down to maybe one video every four to six weeks. And that is because I'm currently an undergraduate computer science major. I'm finishing up my fourth year. And as many of you know, when you're a senior in school, you're able to choose a lot of cool electives. Two of those electives happen to be artificial intelligence as well as web programming. So. I'm going to try to integrate some of the stuff I learned in that course onto this channel. Artificial intelligence, I'm not 100% sure what we'll be doing, if it makes sense to share, and if I understand it well enough in order to efficiently communicate it with you guys, then I'll do that. With web programming, I know I'll be able to at least you know efficiently communicate with you guys. However, I'm not sure if it'll violate the honor code because I'm creating a Slack clone and there are many other people in my class, of course, and I don't want to make a video where someone else steals my code base. So I'm going to find the line of honor code violation and, you know, right up against that is where I'm going to be with the videos I create. So if you don't know what Slack is, check out slack.com. It's a very useful tool for developers as well as many other people. And I know this is about iOS development, like I mentioned, but I figured you guys would be interested in some web programming. If you absolutely hate the idea and there's a bunch of people in the comment sections who say, no, I don't want you to do web programming, maybe I'll reconsider. Let me know if you want web programming. Let me know if you want artificial intelligence. It's just that I really need to focus on these two things because they're class. And then if I make a video about it, it helped me learn it even more because some of these things require presentations in class. And I'll actually have content for this channel because if I'm spending time doing artificial intelligence course and then my web programming course among all my other courses, I won't have much time to actually focus on iOS development, which means there are not going to be many iOS development videos on my iOS development channel. So I at least want to have some type of programming on my channel. And speaking of iOS development again, I intentionally mentioned how I did UI in this app. API in this app, made the calculator, because I really focused on one thing in each app. I, I didn't, you know, I made a decent UI for the for the weather app, which is where I integrated the API. However, I want to go back in my GitHub repositories and round out all of my applications to actually make it look like a portfolio, because I don't want to have a crappy app with okay UI, and then an integrated API in this app with, you know, nothing else really going on. I want to have all these well-rounded, and instead of you know creating a giant application, which I'll be working on as much as possible, I'll be able to still do iOS development, but just smaller projects. And you know, when I'm building this application, I am doing it in smaller chunks like social feed or profile or this or that. However, that still is a big chunk in and of itself. And these is it's already done. I just need to integrate a few other things. I know it's easier said than done, but I just want to do as much iOS development on this channel as I can while still maintaining my grades in school. And of course, since videos like these where I'm just talking and videos like what I'm about to make and is a cool little vlog where I integrate my upgrade into my MacBook Pro because I've been talking about this for the past year. I'll get into that in the next video, but just uh, subscribe so you can see that. And I mean it, I keep saying subscribe because I really want you guys to, to come on this journey with me. It's a lot of fun. I love interacting with y'all, so just subscribe. Anyways, I digress. Let me recap. So, iDev Journey, although slow, is still going to be here. Web programming, I want to be building a Slack clone. Let me know if you're interested in that. Artificial intelligence, I'm going to, to let you guys know more about, you know, once I understand what exactly we're doing in the class. I'll let you guys know 
when I figured that out. So probably within the next week or two, of course, since classes just started today. And number four, upgrading my GitHub repository application so it looks like a real portfolio. So two of those things are iOS development, but I am gonna be making other videos, like I said, with that. You know, my last video on this channel has to do with this desk. I'm gonna be discussing a few other topics when it comes to iOS development, the industry, Swift 4, Xcode 8, or Xcode 9, what is it now? I don't know. I think it's Xcode 9 about to come out with Swift 4, and then the iPhone 8. And oh yeah, I'm also doing design of the month. If you haven't been keeping up with those, I only have two. But the next design of the month is gonna be iPhone 8 design in Adobe XD. So, I'm gonna take the rumored dimensions of the iPhone 8, unless I create this after the release, and I'll take the actual dimensions, and design an application in Adobe XD, which is very beneficial because we're iOS developers here. Anyways, that's the plan for now, you know, for the foreseeable future. That probably will change, so be sure to stay tuned to some of those videos. I don't want to make too many this is what this channel is about videos, which I feel like I kind of have. At least I've talked about it in past videos because a lot of things just change. I mean, life changes, job, school, work, side projects, job and work is the same thing, I understand that, but there's a lot going on that I don't even differentiate all these. It's just kind of like bleh into one. And I also have to do YouTube and all this other stuff. So it's very busy. I hope you guys join the ride and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. And no, I didn't mean to rhyme ride and subscribe. Thank <music> you.